W. Stevens Family Outdoors today, and uh, it's early September, and I'm on my way down to uh, a hunting property. It's about 250 acres we've acquired, and it's, we call it the farm, and um, it's got a lot of nice deer off of there. We try to manage it the best we can, and it is located in a place to where it can't be encroached upon by trespassers usually or um, just people stumbling upon it. Um, I'm on my way down there now to check some tree stand uh, straps, um, trail cameras, and things and such like that. I usually have that done uh, at least by the end of July, I'd like to have it done by then, but we've been very, very busy this summer and um, just now winding down with my uh, nuisance wildlife control work uh, a little bit to where I can get out and uh, tend to the important matters like deer hunting stuff. <laughs> Bought me a new, um, what's new to me, it's a 2007 PSA exotic it's a PSA X uh, Black Widow and uh, bought that off of a fella down in, um, down in Georgia by the name of Ashley Clark and I want to thank him a million times over for selling me such a, an awesome bow the thing shoots like a dream um, it handles very very well and uh, hopefully this year I can initiate it uh, with me anyway uh, on a nice buck at one of our farms here. So we're headed down here now and once we get down there I'll, I'll see if I can um, get a few items here on the uh, list here, get them on film and uh, get you a video worked up to, to look at maybe a little bit of info here, a little bit of info there. Um, what I try to do, I try to share the little bit that I know with some of my friends and anybody that will listen uh, about traditional bow hunting or bow hunting in general, any kind, whether you use uh, a traditional bow or a compound bow, some of the tactics will work uh, that, that I use. Um, yesterday I posted a video about... Uh, making mox grapes and um, licking branches out of grapevines and um, I tell you what that's uh, if you put them on an area where they're already traveling I tell you what they'll actually go out of the way and to go hit those uh, when they're in the area so well we'll get back with you when we get down here this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors see you down the road okay folks we just got in the truck from shutting the gate back at the uh, road here down to farm um, we've got a big long driveway here we got to go back in the there's no cattle in here this year um, we took them out I think it was last summer for whatever reason stink bug on the window but he took them out for whatever reason last summer and um, hasn't put them back in yet so I would imagine that this year there will be no cattle in here when, while we're hunting, which doesn't make a big difference other than uh, when you hear footsteps in the leaves <laughs> and you get all excited and the next thing you know it's a big old heifer. Let me get this stink bug out. But anyway, we're headed back through here. I see some of the Osage Orange, Osage Orange um, 
they call them pumpkin brain or monkey brains or whatever but that's the oc orange fruit or whatever they call it but anyway i'm headed back through here uh, once we get to the first stand location here uh, we'll get out and uh, take you along with us so hang in there Okay, folks, here we are at uh, tree stand spot number one, and uh, over top of the truck, you can see the stand. I'll take you around and show you in just a moment, but I'm going to put the trail camera on this tree facing north. Uh, as I said before, that's so it doesn't get the morning or evening sun which causes a lot of bright brightness and you don't actually get to see the pictures so we'll walk around here to this side and show you the stand I'm going to put uh, fresh straps on both of these now we have a ladder stand then on the back side We have a uh, camera stand. I'm going to go ahead and put new straps or additional straps on each one. And if you look real close, you can see the safety line all the way up there, to all the way down. And we hook into that before we, our feet leave the ground. So I'll get back with you when I get this trail cam up. to stop the uh, truck right here I got a little tree about this big around laying across here I'm almost where I need to be so if I can't move it I'll just sit here and carry the camera and straps up to the uh, one up that way so we'll catch you when we get there <laughs> I guess we've got about everything we need. Got the pole clip in case I get any new branches that need moved out of the way. Got the rope to tie up this vine, this grapevine I'm going to use for a licking branch in front of my stand. And of course the bag with the camera in it. So we're going to head back this way way I'm gonna try not to talk any louder than this now we're gonna head back this way we probably got a hundred yards or so till we get to the stand so when we get there I'll turn you back on hey folks I'm facing north and as I face west you can hear a main highway about probably 600 yards or more over that way there is um, an interstate fence around it but it does have holes in it if you look straight ahead of you there that's a little tractor trail it's not used anymore except by the deer and turkeys and then somebody put a stand up in this tree nestled in around those branches I just love that you look in behind there you can see my safety rope all the way down and then as you look eastward it looks pretty thick but about 
30 yards, maybe 40 yards that way is a standing cornfield, which I just talked with the farmer and he thinks it'll be cut. He said before deer season, so I imagine he's talking November gun season. And then as we turn around 90 degrees, the way we came in, this is what it looks like all the way out through. This is an old tractor road that winds out through there. So, um, depending on the wind, um, if I hunt the stand or not, the prevailing wind, okay, let me say this first. The deer always bed down in this area big bucks and all matter of fact I'm standing right close to the spot where I videoed that big buck that didn't come in and I think the name of that video is just my luck a smaller probably 16 inches wide uh, buck came in and went back while the big one big one the fine nine point stayed right in that thicket there while I was in this other stand out there. That's what prompted me to put this stand up here last year, was to try to intercept them as they came out into this road, walk down this road, and cut through here. So we're going to put you see my uh, grapevine and rope. We're going to put a right about here, my longest road. We're going to put mock scrape and um, licking brads. I'm going to throw the rope over this limb right there and let it hang down right here so it catches anything that comes up or comes down this road so I'm looking for some activity not just this season but this ought to be a permanent thing for those of you who didn't know deer use licking branches and scrapes year round especially licking branches so I'm going to go ahead and get busy get started here so I can get out of here uh, without spreading too much scent and I shall show you the end product when I get finished. There's the vine. Actually tied off that tree. Ground scraped away. And we'll put some scent in that in just a minute. Turn a 180, looking out this way, over to the stand, inside the stand, it's a trail cam. That's my setup, that's the way we do it. Each, uh, each location is a little different depending on the uh, whatever you know the situation is wind directions uh, bedding areas what have you. you have to look at it all